All right, blessings to you. Red alert, man. Red alert. Um, we need to be vigilant. Uh, we need to be vigilant as the body of Christ. There's a spiritual warfare that is going on out here. And this may be like a part top five, six, seven series. I don't know. It all depends on how the, the most high God uses this. Um, but it's a red alert, brothers and sisters. Red alert. You got to understand that you should be battling in the spirit. There's a war going on for the souls. There's a war going on for your soul, man. And and if you're not, if you don't have the full armor of God on, if you're not on, um, like he says in the book of Ephesians 6, the, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, uh, the sword, which is the word of God. If you if you're not praying up, man, if you're not getting prayed up, you do not discern. Come on, come on, somebody. Come on, like listen. I think a lot of us are so comfortable, man. You know, I was praying yesterday, man, spiritual warfare, praying in the, in the, in the, uh, fighting in the spirit, man, praying in my house yesterday, man, and, and just listening to how the Holy Spirit is just, just abiding in me, and I am him, and, and just how the Messiah is just, just working with me, man, and just dealing with me day after day, day after day, pruning and pruning away, plucking and plucking away. And I'm just listening how the Spirit is like, why is not the body of Christ? And I, you know, and I'm not saying everybody, but majority. I mean, for, for real, claim to be Christians. Majority is not battling in the spirit, and we don't understand that we should. A lot of us are. Thank you, Holy Spirit. A lot of us are putting our sword down. A lot of us are putting down our sword, and we're picking up the world, and then we put down, pick up the sword, put up the world, pick up the sword, put down the world. No, listen. Yehovah, Jesus Christ said, even John said it, Revelation, he said that that a man cannot serve two masters. Come on, somebody. You either love one or you despise the other. You can't do both. You know, and I start thinking about it, man. I start thinking about how, how you know, that, that the Lord says a prayer of a righteous man, prayers are not hindered, you know, and you know, anything that you pray and you ask for in his name, the Lord shall do. But you got to be mindful of how the enemy is out here and is trying to throw distractions, trying to throw lures, trying to uh, uh, throw uh, bear traps for a majority of the believers. And we out here trying to do this and trying to do that and trying to prepare this and trying to prepare that and do all these different things. And the Messiah is like, listen, I, I ain't told you to go over there and do all that. I ain't never tell you to go start this. I ain't never tell you to go do that. You the one that's running over there doing all these things. But so since you want to do that, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna put you in on a the strong delusion. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you have the desires of your your fleshly heart, your sinful heart. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you bath in it. I'm gonna let you lay in it. I'm gonna let you wallow in that for a little while. I'm gonna let you have these headaches. I'm gonna let you be stressed out. I'm gonna let you worry. All these things. Because we see when we in the Messiah, when we in Jesus Christ, he says his perfect love casts out all fear. Oh, come on, somebody. His perfect love casts out all fear. So when you look at the world, let's just look at America. And I gotta stay focusing on America right now. Look at this quote unquote land of the free and home of the brave, right? This 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 country was built on quote unquote Christian principles. A nation under God. But I, I, I have this strong belief now that they were not talking. <laughs> they wasn't talking about the God that we serve, Elohim, El Shaddai, that I am that I am. They wasn't talking about the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and the first and the last. We've been duped again. Why you say that, brother? Because look at look at what's going on right now. Look at how everything that's transpiring in the world right now. Listen, listen to me. If they're willing to bicker and argue over abortion, if they're bickering and arguing over abortion and, and still going to approve this one in this state and allow it to be on 12 weeks out, 15 weeks out, and if you decide you wanted to go ahead and take the life, you can do it. But this is blasphemy, saints. And if we don't stay it, man, listen, we in trouble. That's why I said it's a red alert. We in trouble, man. If we don't, if we don't understand that we need to be battling in the spirit, we need to be, we need to be praying and seeking the Most High God. Spiritual warfare is what we're going on through right now. 
And if we don't understand that, we need to be crying loud and spare, not lifting up our voice like a trumpet and, and, and telling God's people, telling the, the lost sheep, telling uh, 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 non-believers their transgressions that, hey, it's time to come back home. Hey, it's time to get your life right with Christ. Hey, and stop playing. Like, stop playing. Now, stop playing hopscotch. Like, 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 stop saying, okay, I got time. Because a lot of folks believe they got time. A lot of folks still believe that, like, hey, you know, you know, maybe stuff may be going on. You know, I put on the mask, put on the cloth, and, you know, I'm uh, uh, I'm safe. No, you're not safe. You, if you, yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like a baseball game. You got one, first base, second base, third base, home, right? You may made it to first base. You may made it to second. You may make it to third. But how are you going to get home? The only way you get home is that man hits that ball far out here at a home run and hit it far out to the left of the infield or whatever the case may be and you get an opportunity to run but I'm talking about you need to be running into the arc of safety Woo. you need to be running into the arc of safety which is Jesus Christ Jesus says that he is the way the truth and the life he says that no man can come unto his fault except through him this world is perishing saints a lot, I, and I listen, I get it, you know, you, you happy to, to, to kind of break bread with family again, you know, you got the, the, the things that kind of look like it's coming back or whatever, but it's not, it's not, it's a delusion, it's a distraction, the enemy trying to get you off the tower, Woo. the enemy trying to get you off the pedestal, come on somebody, the enemy trying to get you out of prayer, Woo. the enemy trying to get you out of fasting, the enemy trying to get you out of worshiping, the enemy trying to get you all distracted about the cares and desires of this life, yeah, I know a lot of us are going through some things. Yes, the enemy distracting you on all sides of the corners of your life. Yes, all these people trying to come at you and trying to take this and trying to take that. But greater, greater is he, greater is he that is in me than me that's in this world. I'm greater with Christ, but I'm nothing without him. This world is coming back void. This world is dying. And if we don't understand that we must die as this world dies spiritually, that I got to get to a point, that you got to get to a point where that you're willing to die daily. Like he says in the book of Romans chapter 12, he says, present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. I got to live holy. I got to remove altars out of my life. You got to remove altars altars out of your life, meaning you got to remove these idols out of your life, these gods out of your life, little G, these L's out of your life, little L's, move these idols, move these altars, and prepare for war, It's a war going on for your soul, I thank you for listening, hope this challenge somebody steps, man, hope this challenge somebody walk, man, I'm telling you, I, I, I'm doing the same thing, man. I'm, I'm, I'm analyzing situations. I'm looking at things. And I'm understanding that he says in Psalms. What does he say? What does he say in the book of Psalms? Come on, brothers and sisters, turn to it with me. Listen to what he says here. Let me give you one here. Hebrews 1, 1 and 2. It says, God having of the old times spoken unto the fathers and the prophets by delivering portions unto divider manners. Have at the end of those days spoken unto us and his son, whom he has appointed her hair over all things, through whom all he made the worlds. The Lord made all these things, brothers and sisters. Without him, nothing was made. That's what he said in the beginning of John 1 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and it became flesh, man. It became flesh. So I want to give you something real quickly here. Look at what's going on in your house, saints. I'm telling somebody, look, look at what's going on in your house. Tell me that there ain't no war going on. Tell me that there ain't somebody in that need to be saved. Come on, somebody. Tell me that there ain't somebody in that need to be born again. Come on, somebody. Tell me that your children need to be tight, tightened up a little bit underneath the word of God. Come on, somebody. Come on, here it is. This is too what he says. Psalms 91. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. What is the secret place? The secret place ain't out here in the world. The secret place ain't at your church. The secret place ain't underneath the altar at the church. The secret place ain't doing all these other different things. The secret place ain't seeking them every blue moon. The secret place is getting on your knees and praying daily. The secret place of the Most High. 
and I shall bind underneath the shadows of the Almighty. And I will say unto Jehovah, Yeshua, Jehovah, He is my refuge, my fortress. He's your refuge. He's your fortress. He is your refuge. He is your fortress. I'm going to say it again for the ones in the back that's still stiff-necked and rebellious. He is your refuge. He is your fortress. He is your all in all. My God in whom, in him, in whom I shall trust. For he has delivered thee from the snares and from the foes. And I'm going to stop there. We'll jump back in this tomorrow on tomorrow's podcast. He's going to deliver you. He's delivering me. He's delivering us. But we got to stay with him. Stay in the boat. Don't get out. 911. Spiritual warfare going on. Battle for your soul. Get ready. King coming. Lord, we need your power, spirit. Let it fall on us right now, sweet spirit. Fall on me right now. I feel your presence within me. I need you within me. I see your Holy Spirit right now. Possess my mind, my body, mind, and my soul. Do it within me. Hey. Do it inside of me, Lord. I need it. Do it inside of me, Lord. I need it. Move inside of me, Lord. 